In this segment, I'll be talking about the special pieces that we have acquired when we went to Europe. So for the most part, we did some bits of shopping when we were in Belgium, in Antwerp primarily, and in Berlin. You know me, I love shoes and I love boots. This will be the first one that I wanna show you guys. This is from Trippin. We got this from Berlin. Going to Trippin in Berlin was one of our highlights. We were a bit short on the luggage space. Us being a fan of Fecal Matter, they have been super inspiring. I think this is a special piece to have and to pick up because it's a limited edition and this is a way to support the artist and the brand. So this is the Fecal Matter for Trip and Boots. Amazing, right? Look at the chain. Boom. It's got zip. And I like that it's a high ankle boots. It has that geta Japanese, you know, it's it's the trademark of Trippin. And the heels are, the heels and platform are made of rubber. Hugs the ankles really nicely. The zipper could have been more edgy. This is just a regular YKK zipper. The thing about Trippin is that they don't do sale and they do repeats of their style. When you buy something, right, and it goes on sale, it kind of breaks your heart. And it's quite reassuring that, you know, you're supporting a brand that values the importance of permanence and owning a cult item. The good thing about this is you can, you know, remove the chains. So if you feel that you just want to be a basic bitch, you can definitely do so. I was supposed to get one for myself and Lauren's like, maybe we can just share. We don't need two of those. I'm still the type of person who enjoys shopping online, but this one is an exception because Shopping in Trippin was an experience. This is a size 42. Why not? Hmm, it's very really comfortable. It's very stable. It doesn't look too big on me, right? It reminds me of the, um, the Vivian Westwood platform heels that was super popular back in 2011. I would say this is a good alternative for like people who want to um, explore Man heels. I actually mentioned this on my previous video, I think two years ago. It's giving me, yeah, Berlin vibes, definitely, with all these punk details. It doesn't feel like you're wearing heels at all. I think I can definitely wear this like easily. Like I can rate this eight out of 10. This is like the perfect shoe if you're into goth, grunge, avant-garde, S&M, all those things. These are just, badass and even if it's a heel it's definitely a gender neutral style language i look at it and i don't see any gender in it what do you think let me know in the comment section below so this is my next purchase since i was saving luggage but i still want to shop this was a godsend we were in antwerp in this really amazing store labels inc shout out to elvis who was helping us the whole time. He was really sweet and kind and helpful and very warm, everything. So thank you, Elvis, for your patience. We were there for like a good 30 minutes. I was filming, I was taking photos, but he didn't mind. So yeah, that was a great experience. I was about to pay this Heider Ackerman skirt. There was like an Andy Mulumister bag behind the counter. It was an Andy Mulumister belt. I think I bought this for less than 100 euros. I've always been wanting an accessory. I feel like I neglect shopping accessories, especially online because I'd rather buy clothes and shoes. It's a long belt and I've always wanted a long belt ever since I saw those uber long belt from Vetmore. Over the past few decades, Andy Mulumis has been super, super notable with her leather goods and leather accessories on the runway. She never holds back. She goes crazy if she wanted to. And with styling this, I think you can just like hang it asymmetrically. So it creates that sexy feeling that the belt is like falling down. It's more of like an accessory functionality. I don't re need the belt really, but it's just an added texture, an added element for the rather simplistic outfit. I'm gonna try this on with another dress. I feel like the black just swallows the color. It makes the belt invisible. So I'm gonna try it with a really light colored outfit. This is the belt with a really light dress. I love that the belt, the thin belt, just gives the right amount of accent to this, you know, hyper volume, hyper 
long dress just balances it out and gives it a good accent with Andy Malumister she usually mix like whites with like a thin straps or thin cords or thin laces and that is her take on creating subtle dramas and subtle accents and tiny dose of uniqueness so guys this is how it looks like with a typical blazer and skirt this is a very distinct uniform look from Andy Mulumister I'm liking the effect of the belt with the simplistic blazer and skirt combination nice could probably do this as well to make it neat yeah Since we're talking about small purchases, this is one of my most favorite pickups when we were in Belgium. If you're in Belgium, it's a must-see. So we went to Dries van Noten. I totally forgot that he released a perfume line two years ago. When I saw that he has a Discovery set, I knew that I had to get one. Getting the Discovery set was the smartest decision. Plus, you get to try the different scents from the collection. So we all know that Dries van Noten has a garden. He's really hands-on when it comes to the formula and the theme of the perfume. It's an amazing steal. This one is it's more of a memorabilia. We went to Berlin at Boo Store. I knew that I had to get one one item that will make me remember the trip Comme de Garçon, Spring Summer 1993 I believe there were like three or four collections that was printed but I chose this because I love the cover I think it's a collector's item if you really love Rei Kawakubo and her, her runway shows and it also comes with a poster I think this was just $13 it would be a crime not to get one this is not what you think it is. It's a wholesome fashion accessory. This is from Dries van Noten. At first, I thought it was from um, Andy Mulumister. I bought it at Labels Inc. Yeah, it's one of my favorite, favorite purchases. Always unlucky to get like fashion accessories like belts, jewelry. Lately, I've been recognizing the, the importance of adding the, the tiniest bit of accessory. So the belt is made of three leather strips one is thicker than the rest it just gives an, an outfit a whole new a whole new life uh, my style is avant-garde with a hint of minimalism and drama so accessories like this it just creates a very specific completion and finality my pieces they speak for themselves now that i have this belt the styling process will be more what more fun more dynamic and more more exciting. The only downside with this belt is it's too big on me. It's labeled as 90. I truly enjoyed wearing this with my Yoji Mamoto pieces only because it gave a strong juxtaposition of the strong belt versus the, the feather-like soft silhouette of the layers. And also when I wore it with my sculptural Rick Owens dress, that dress doesn't have to be accessorized it can live on its own I thought of um, trying this on with the dress and it worked somehow it gave me more shape you can overlap it, you can make it asymmetrical and it just gives that outfit a punk edge elegance these are all the purchases from my recent Europe trip we finally found the trip in stores we can try some shoes we are finally here at the Trippin store i think this is the shoes that pico matter is promoting on their campaign Super interesting shoes, super lovely shapes. I've been following the brand ever since its inception. And you know me, I love, love amazing, well-designed shoes. So let's get inside. Super pretty. It's 
some really nice weight to it. Wow. I think this is the menswear area, if I'm not mistaken. I'm having a mini heart attack. But it's gonna be super expensive. And how cute! Look at the tiles of the um, the floor. They're all the design that they did from way way back. And then the heel, this one is a little bit higher because for women it's a little bit lower. Loren is trying the fecal matter for trip and collection and I think he's getting it. He's trying the size 41 for men. So far it looks good. Oh my god, it looks good. Go in the mirror. Slay. Yeah, just get it. It's nice that they, um, they've been producing the same shoes since like 10 years ago. But the thing is they don't go on sale. They always produce same and same pieces over and over again, which is kind of good. They're deviating from the, the usual cyclical fashion that we're used to. 598 Australian dollars. Do you think it's worth it? Should I get it? Yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> you could just borrow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect. So we sell the box, right? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we'll sort it out in our luggage. Just like that. We are here at Cafe Cinema, of course, for some afternoon drinks. Hello Berlin! Today we're in Berlin. We just landed yesterday. We had some drinks and we shopped for... We went to Trippin and now I don't know where we're going. I think we're going to a few places. We're at the fourth floor in our hotel in Berlin. I think this is the best one so far. I'm so sorry I won't be able to give you a, a room tour because the room is a big mess. But the outside is amazing. It's beautiful. I wore something light. I don't know what this day will bring us. This is Loren. He, um, he just finished his outfit and that's his shoes he's wearing. So we'll see if you're gonna be able to walk fast because usually he's the one always ahead. I'm wearing what I'm from Muffin Rabbit. It smells like cold wool. Metallic Can I have some? It smells good. Okay, let's do this. Let's go outside. Pray that nothing bad will happen. Laurent's outfit. What are you wearing? I'm wearing my trusted Nutrilab capsule one as a <laughs> scarf. And then inside I have a Muglay blazer. Pants are from Christos. These are Rick Owens Bella pants. My new shoes is a trippin. It can definitely remove the chains, but today he'll wear it. It looks good. My second time wearing this. This is the dress that I wore for uh, Paris Fashion Week. And it got drenched in mud, but I was able to clean it and now I'm wearing it again. Um, this is the Rick Owens Ellipse dress. And I'm wearing my Balenciaga bag and my hardware DIY <laughs> cuffs. Someone thought that it was from part to four. I chose couture and glam. And the boots, yeah, the boots are from Rick Owens. 2012 collection. This is a menswear boots. It's called the Alicoff boots. I just love the shape. Like, I look like I have a gangrene of feet. So yeah. Because it's a bit chilly today, I might wear my um, Andy Mule Mister symmetrical vest. Just for an added layer. 
is gonna work as a scarf so it doesn't drag across the floor. I think that should be fine. We are waiting for the bus and we're going to the Holocaust Memorial. It's like a 14 minute walk, but I, I feel like we're getting closer. Yeah, I cannot wait to see the um, museum exhibition. We just have a downtime because we've been walking non-stop. Browns this one. This character, Charlotte and Strash, Stravier. I don't know if it's open. And just like that, they open at 2 p.m. Still holding up, how's the shoes? No pain. No pain, they're so comfortable. They're more comfy than recalling. <laughs> Ouch, there you go guys. Yeah, like we were in the bus earlier and they were looking at Laurent's shoes. I think two guys were like laughing. I mean, this is Berlin, it's supposed to be a fashion forward city. Just wear whatever you want. Be true to yourself. Enjoy weird clothes, enjoy being weird. He's a vampire. He's melting. Count Loren. So tired, I could eat a horse. used to like small European coffee. It's good. It's really good today. That's okay. And I think I'm gonna be drinking some coffee again later. Finally had a chance to eat Berlin sausage. We're finally here. Camper Lab pop-up shop for the autumn collection. Can't wait to try some shoes. I feel like most of our Berlin trip is like shoe shopping. <laughs> okay, um, so people can buy stuff Yeah, people like can buy, yes, yes. Oh. And it will last until October um, 30th. Oh, okay, and for a month. The Capital Lab selection is always available in our other countries, but here you will see the full collection for this season. For this season, oh my yeah, god. We've got some shoes coming up. So oh my goodness! <laughs> we will, we will. They look like, you know, like a manufactured leather, but it's not. It's real leather. It's like a JW Anderson. So you're gonna try the orange shoes, this one. So we are here today at the pop-up shop. Two days ago, there was like a, a launch. The kind of place that makes Lorraine is a big, big kind of Achilles. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, I saw it on Instagram. It's not light, it's not heavy, but it's not light either. It's just a good weight. If I'm gonna wear a sneaker, I'll wear something crazy like this one, right? It's so cute. Oh, this is Lauren's favorite. Pony hair, neon with black. I feel like square toes is gonna stay for a while. Camper Lab is like a Spanish brand. Uh, Camper Per Se is a Spanish brand. 
Spanish brand? Campbell Lab is um, our experimental side of Campbell. You can see that. And uh, they are made from top quality uh, leather. Leather. And now we have the Tosso, which is the most sustainable sneaker that Campbell has ever produced. Mm -hmm. So it's like a recycled? It is recycled, yeah. It's water repellent. So it's, I thought you were wearing like a cool sock inside. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, allows his creative mind to go wild. Camera lab, everything's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the sky's the limit. This is super cute. Made of sustainable products. Oh, they've got black. Super tempting. Maybe I should try the black one. Freaking Rick Owens are hurting my feet. I mean, fair enough. These are not made for walking. I don't know why I signed up for this. I love it. Very Kanye Achilles vibes, yeah. Now we're going to the Shinko Pavilion. Can I just say that Berlin, I would say, has the most individual style compared to like Belgium, Antwerp or Paris, no? Like they've got their um, own thing going on, like the guys, they, they look really cool, they've got like piercing on an ordinary morning. Today's like Friday and you would see like really cool kids, I'm actually inspired to dress up more. I think Berlin, Berlin people, they're amazing. Puncture Sky by John Raffman is a short art film funny commentary of how the technology that we use every day pervades and mediates us as humans and how it intercepts with our memory and our concept of self. It felt like I was in this dystopian world of video game, the immersion and imagery Internet aesthetics colliding with the dark online world it creates an unsettling confluence of feels and emotion and thinking. It actually gave me a lot of nostalgia being a gamer when I was young. To say that we were supposed to have downtime in Shinko was a lie because it was a full-on contemplation of vivid imagery and sounds. It was a total immersion and I love it. We went out feeling awakened. Imagine Berlin in the 70s or 80s would have been crazy with their offbeat styling, with their eccentric, you know, individualist style. I'm loving the style that I'm seeing in Berlin. Very fashion but personal style based. They're telling bold the heavy lies Looks like all we've got is each other We've arrived Darklands X and unfortunately you can't take some videos or photos. The nice guy gave us this recommendation of like cool coffee shops and restaurants that are Darklands approved. So nice of him. And it's really nice to like see the pieces that you admire in person. Like there's a lot of deep tea from Boris Bijan, Devoa, and all those really OG dark avant-garde designs. It's a nice flagship store. 
they're very small. Uh, Independent. But this is better than what sorry. Can I know. Have your vision. Are you passion? passion? This is my passion. Yeah. This is okay. Yeah. Vintage glasses are from the 70s, and he's got like more than 10,000 glasses in archive. From 1980s, this one yeah. is 30 pieces, 30 pieces ah. and 18 karat solid gold, 30,000 euro. 18 karat gold, everyone will check this out. I have more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> John Paul Gaultier. Yeah. They stopped by here. Yeah. yeah, Elton John. So Elton John was here. Elton. And your glasses, they're from 200 euros. This, one, and this is all never worn. Mm, never worn, never worn as well. I think a lot of people now, they love vintage, so you're in the right spot. <laughs> and have the OG shield glasses. Plus Yoko Ono. This is special. By that person. How much is that one? This one is 690 euros. 690 euros. Very nice. It's okay, order? Yes, yeah, they're high quality. Very high end. So you want to over? This is amazing. It's made of hard leather or something. Super massive, I love it. It's super light too. Good morning, outfit. <laughs> Today is our last day here in Berlin. We're just gonna be going hard with the touristy thing. Laurent has pinned a few locations that we'll be visiting. Loren told me to go hard with the outfit today because it's in our last day, so why not? I was supposed to wear this for fashion week, but it didn't work out. And I was mortified because look what happened. I think I gained weight. Paper mache skirt with the hand and belt. Yeah, the walrus boots. So I'm really proud of myself because I didn't bring a bag. So this is my bag, which is the Bauhaus vest. What's in my vest? So, um perfumes and eye drops, sanitizer, it's a must have, some cash just in case the card doesn't work, and some spare batteries for the camera, vlogging life, my phone, I think that's it. Laurent's outfit, Berlin chic, yeah I think he was inspired today to dress up 10 times better because of the chic Berlin people, it's a neutral lab sample, jacket with multiple zips the Prada crossbody Yoji Yamamoto layered inside Comme de Garçon silk pants the shoes are from Trippin for Fecal Matter or Fecal Matter for Trippin There's so many broken glasses in the streets it's crazy Speaking of broken glasses How much is your outfit? No, I'm just kidding <laughs> 2 euros <laughs> 2 euros We're going to Fashion Week but we're not but We love dressing up I don't know why. You it's, don't know why? I don't know why. Give us a reason why we should dress up because we don't know why. It's fine now, but when there's going to be people around, I'm going to be a bit awkward. Hopefully not. Just have to wear the things that scares you, I guess. Not going to lie, we look like we're going to Bergheim, but we're just old couples looking for cheap breakfast. <laughs> Not all. <laughs> I <You're> am. Old. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Are we gonna take the bus or the train? Darker times. They're telling bolder, heavy lies. Looks like all we've got is each other. The truth is actually. Remember when all I had was my mother? She didn't compromise. She could recognize. Our daughters and our sons are just can't non stop walking, but we will just power on today. We're so excited, we're going to the Gropiusbau Museum, and I think they've got some really, really nice installations and exhibitions at the moment. So, looking forward, we haven't had any breakfast yet. We do breakfast during dinner. 
In regards with outfits, like a few minutes ago, I was feeling a bit self-conscious and awkward, but I give it a bit of time and now I feel more confident and I feel like there's nothing wrong with my outfit. It's just a normal outfit and you just have to own it. Normal outfit. <laughs> and I guess it's just picking up that courage. I grow pizza. I think there's so many tourists coming to see the museum. Laurent is buying the tickets online. Super fortunate that we were able to see Louise Bourgeois' exhibition. It explores the artist's lifelong affinity for textiles and the memories they evoke. Her most compelling and intimate creations into cultural installations. At the same time, her fabric works invite us to rethink the meaning of mending, the idea of emotional repair, that rather than, you know, neatly sewing everything up, we can broaden up and refresh our perspective. No matter how imperfect it is. Her works, however, have a, a deep, tense, harrowing feeling of sadness. It made me think of life, death, decay, but mostly decay. This blending of sexuality and death, pain and pleasure, lightly adds a disturbing dynamic to her work. Mammon is one of my favorites, of course. It's a large-scale bronze sculpture. It definitely creates a mood. Someone like me was scared of spiders and crabs. This was a brave moment because I was in front of the sculpture. I was facing its magnitude. Super fortunate that we were able to see Louise Bourgeois. So cold. So after our amazing lunch at this Syrian restaurant, we're going to Kony Gallery. It's a 24 minute walk. We don't mind because we we're so full and we needed an exercise. But it suddenly rained. We don't have umbrella. I don't have a coat. Today is all about powering on. That's what we're doing. Are we lost yet? I love you, Berlin. Where else can you find this kind of architecture in the world? Look, look at this. All worth the walking and the rain, the hunger, the cold. I cannot wait to check out the exhibition. By the way, earlier on, while we're at Grokius Bau, a lady stopped us and she took a photo of us because she liked her outfit, so there you go. Yeah, I thought our outfit today is a bit risque, too harass, too crazy. And I think it's fine. It just depends on what sort of neighborhood you're going to, I guess. And this is the kind of neighborhood that I like. I just can look at the prints forever. I just love, you know, fonts and the covers. <laughs> this is my favorite. It's too heavy to take on. The other museum was closed for renovation or for an art installation. We just decided to go to Kindle. Say hi! My trusty navigator.
Rick Owens can literally put a show here. Bus going to Boo Store. I love the artwork. It's just a great way to costume yourself to artists and to support them. The tickets are 10 euros for two. I really, really recommend that you visit it and include this in your itinerary. We're here at Boo Store. I love the energy of this door. Let's look at that. I still love online shopping. Like I tend to get too overwhelmed with like shopping when like the items are right in front of me. And there's an amount of physical strength involved. I tend to get tired so easily. So I think online shopping is still the way to go. Oh my god, they've got Rui. Subversive basics. We've got mini magazines, like a small compendium of Comme de Garçon, archive Comme de Garçon. For the Prada fans. I don't know where to start. Um, Love the mirror. I think this is the best bag so far. Or yeah. yeah it's a bit hard. <laughs> oh no, it's actually very soft. Can I? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think I lost the hand. Finally finished checking out Boo Store and we're heading to secondhand shop. It's a bit funny how we sort of feel pressured to shop when we travel. We feel like there's an urge and there's an urgency to shop. It shouldn't be that way because we are there to experience something that is not going to be found on a clothing shop. If you love drinking, if you love wine, I think Europe is the best destination because they sell it so cheap and they sell it everywhere. They sell it in a supermarket. And we're just waiting for a store to open. I decided to have some early wine. My last wine here in Berlin. And yeah, today's the last day. How quick it went, right? And I just couldn't imagine myself going back to Australia just yet. So I'm afraid that's the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed my pickups. Although it's only a small portion, I feel happy and proud that I was able to find these amazing pieces. I do hope that when you travel, you'll be able to do the same. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and I will see you on my next video. All right. Right. Yeah, I remember that.